ass, goddammit. Mm. <laughs> I'm so... Oh boy, okay. I don't care. Get out of my face. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Whew. All right. Let's do this bitch all over again. What is up, my ladies and girls? My name is Murky S, and welcome to Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition. And also, before I continue on, I already recorded this. And guess what happened? The footage is no longer there. You wanna know why? Because this is my other laptop. This is my new laptop. Ain't that great? <laughs> <laughs> so that is out of the way. I can actually, you know, start recording again. <laughs> Shit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> all right. Start Mass Effect One. And also another fact: all my save files in my Mass Effect game, they're gone too. Mm. Remember to save files. Remember to save files next time. All right. Live and learn, people. Look, live and learn. All right. Start. Do career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information. Classified. That bullshit. I ain't no classified. Classification is bullshit. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. Mail. Please log in to access your profile. No. No, Johnny boy. No. We're gonna go with Titus. And no, not Tetanus, Titus. Mighty Titus. That's what we're gonna call him. <sighs> Alright. But I will say that I am loving the new details and the graphics to this game. I absolutely love it. Even though that I'm going batshit crazy because I have to start this whole placer all over again, I am happy all the same. Now, if I can have my save files back, I will be even more happier. <sighs> enough venting, enough venting. Alright. Earthborn! You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great metropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and the Underworld Gangs by enlisting with the Alliance Military when you turn 18. Confirm psychological profile. War Hero, early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Confirm military specialization. And also, I already know what kind of class I want, which is soldier, because that's what I've been going with for the past few years playing this game. Even though that we got engineer, adept, infiltrator, sentinel, and vanguard, and <laughs> it still looks like he's still playing Ergador right there. No, I'm not gonna mess with his face. His face is just fine. It's dandy. It's fucking grand. Women love that face. I've already uh, played through this enough to know that if you choose legendary, you'll only end up reaching to level 30 in this game. Which, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go with classic because we, well, because I love the classic mode better. Makes sense, right? <laughs> and we chose a combat difficulty, which is kind of like this is kind of like a version of moderate, so yeah, this is pretty good. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Yes, I am. You know what I'm not happy with? Losing all my shit! Well, what about Shepard? Yeah, what about Shepard? But no record of his family. Doesn't hurt. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. Hell yeah. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. Hell yeah, that's how we roll, people. We can't question his courage. Fair enough, Odina. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'm watching you, Odina. I'll make the call. Oh, shut up, phone. I'm recording. I am not gonna read that because I, <laughs> I failed the last time I tried to read all that text. So many good shit, and also I did so well with the first recording. Mm, oh well. You live and you learn, people. You live and you learn. But still, damn, those graphics. Maybe. Initiating transmission sequence. Love that shit. So beautiful. So 
so goddamn gorgeous. We are connected. Calculating chasm mass and destination. Yeah, Shepard's walking tall. Like a badass. Look at him. All stations secure for transit. That's not a Shepard has a ship. Take me away on an adventure. Huh. All right, let's get on with the show. Check navigation. Check internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500k, holy shit. 1500 is good. Hey, Nihilus. Your captain will be pleased. How's it going, Dev, buddy? I hate that guy. Oh, don't be like that, Joker. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Yeah, that makes sense. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Hell yeah. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. Never believe any official story that you find, even on the internet. Don't believe it. It's mostly 100% bullshit. Don't believe it. And stupid tutorials shit get out of my face. Actually, no, not my face. Shepard's face. Get out of Shepard's face. All right. I agree. Do not believe in official stories. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Uh-huh. Just like every other situation in Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the Prime. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <laughs> Is he upset? Well, no shit. He's... <laughs> well, he doesn't sound too happy now, does he? <laughs> he sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Oh, yes, I can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Anyways... On with the show. Um, yeah, I've I kind of already explained the the last time I recorded this, so I'm gonna explain it again. Basically, this is like uh, your upgrade tree right here. See, it's all nice and orderly and pretty. <laughs> Anyways, um, what we got? What I usually go for is like mostly charm because, well, we definitely, well, I personally definitely need my shepherd to be one smooth. Talking motherfucker. <laughs> Ladies love him. Shepard, are you okay there, buddy? <laughs> what, what are you looking at? There's not... There's... There isn't something behind me, is there? <laughs> Alright, uh... Charm. Give that two points. And also, Soldier. Because I like the ability to regen my health. To regain my health. That's what regen is. The more you know... I could have gone with this to add uh, damage and also accuracy, which I will eventually later on. And also, I need to upgrade my armor, which allows me to equip heavy armor, which that adds, well, that's self-explanatory. Heavy armor means better protection, which I am not wearing heavy armor. That is a suck. Alright, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. assault training, which is basically evolving weapon damage and also melee damage. Uh, I chose uh, electronics because I'll be able to have the ability to to unlock certain containers and also be able to have more shield capacity for both myself and also for my vehicle, which we're gonna get to the vehicle eventually, probably in the next episode, maybe. We'll just have to wait and see how far we're gonna go with this. I could have gone away the tent of the day, but that's more towards like a uh, renegade. We're not gonna be renegade, we're gonna be Paragon. Paragon, baby! Um. 
That's about it. And also for equipment, assault rifle, shotgun, pistol, sniper rifle, grenades, and also armor, as I said before, and you are able to upgrade it at your leisure. And also you have your currency and also your Amigel, which Amigel is used for breaking, overriding objects to be able to open them, and also currency as a, as credits and basically kind of self-explanatory. Save up your money! It's important. All right, enough explaining. I'm not gonna go to the general or like, maybe. Maybe I'm gonna go with the general. Journal, not general. <laughs> I don't know, I've been all over the place for the past few days, so forgive me. <laughs> Anyways, on with the show. Presley. Hey, Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Ooh, I heard, overheard your argument there, bud. That seems to be the problem. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Ooh. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean, Presley? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on mm. a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Turian Spectre, eh? Sounds a bit of a problem there, Presley. You don't trust Nihilus. Mm. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That's not a good mindset to have there, Presley. Be more open-minded, goddammit. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. Okay. Turians. We're an alliance. Turian Presley. Spectre. Human Understandable. Turian. An answer to the captain like the rest a little bit the concerning there, Presley. Outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Well, he's one of the top operatives. What do you expect? They must be aware of their surroundings. Inside and outside of the ship. What do you know about the stealth systems? I, I thought for a second someone asked something on me. Some recordings. <laughs> and Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Sorry, I'm Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. A cover for what? There, but for what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. No one is there, but do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. A compliment you there, don't but... send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Well, he has every right to be serious. If he take things so lightly, then we would all be dead, floating in space. Just waiting for another ship to rescue us. Oh, always us. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on East Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about his mission. Maybe he has That's every crazy. reason to. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Never thought about well, that. choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy things. <laughs> well, he's not wrong there, Doc. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Being patient Corporal. there. Your Corporal. real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but... <sighs> what? 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 What do you mean? I You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Yeah, you're gonna screw it up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? 
Centurions are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. I'm just gonna let them talk. I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Pull off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Hey, I got 12 XP. Hey, it's kind of like cheap change. Hey, now this. Wait, hold on. Let me save this. Hopefully, the same file will be... I didn't move. Commander Shepard. I didn't move. I was move. hoping you'd get here first. You'll give us a chance to talk. Uh, this whole recording session has gone to shit. Oh yeah, it's going very well. It's going exactly how I wanted it. Not really. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. What are you doing with me? Well, stop throwing things. This whole recording session is gonna shit anyway, so I might as well keep it in. I'm done trying to be perfect. In front, beautiful, gorgeous, love it. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? You Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it! There was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Hmm, there must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Well, I'm glad that we're all here. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Shit, no. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. 
Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Also, guys, I'm gonna go grab myself a drink. I'll be right back. Hi, come on. Give me my freaking ice cubes, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not having troubles. No, no, don't grumpy. No, I wanted this. <laughs> I am back and I got my drink right behind me. Alright, let's continue on. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe right. the missions. Now we what do you know about the Protheans? Just what they told us in school. Right. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just Martians. a small piece of it. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? Hey, Martians. We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of citizen space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to an Eden Captain, Prime. we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. I gotta say, they really did a fantastic job with, uh, with improving the graphics for all three games. Props to all the to all the developers who actually made this happen. Props to you guys. Well done. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. They came out of nowhere! We need to... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Oh, and also, guys, I failed to mention that I've actually played this... play all three games already. Around the time when I was actually sick. If you guys didn't know that fact, uh, yeah, I was sick for over two weeks, so, um, yeah, I kind of had plenty of time to play the game, but I didn't choose to, uh, play the game with my other game What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Because I want to give you guys a first-hand experience playing the game. I move faster on my own. 
Malice will scout on ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. See that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. And also upgrades. Level up. All right, let's uh, bring up the charm because bringing up the charm is actually very important, you guys. Just to let you know because eventually you're gonna come across uh, certain parts of the dialogue where you actually need charm or intimidate. Which I'm gonna stick with charm because I don't wanna be a a soulless. Selfish dick. If anyone ends up making a meme of me saying, oh, poor Jenkins, I will love you forever. More gas bags! Ah, uh, more death. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Night, 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 night. There you go. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Don't leave, drones. Check it. Be gone, Samsung. Never liked your products anyways. They're always a pain in the ass. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Yeah, what happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself there, Ash. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us, there, Ash. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. 
They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Vegan. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol, until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime, none that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Get going, guys. Move out. Take that. Don't off of the fuse there, Ash. We don't need it. They're badass. Time to give Kate some protection. There we go. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Those must, those massage parlors, man, make me tricky. There you go. That's not playing peekaboo with me and fight me like a man or android. check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. Possibly. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Alright, there we go. Got some equipment. Shotgun. And sniper rifle. And uh, blue out. to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity has ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. Uh, One second we were now. gathering up our equipment. The life. next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. 
Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fit this time around. There we go. Alright. Time to save. Whew. This recording session is going a little bit longer than usual. Hey, Nihilus. How's it going? Saren. Hey, Saren. How's it going? This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Do you? Well, there goes Nihilus. Hello, Saren. I mean, what is Saren? Off in the distance. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to oh, shut up. Cole, got something for us? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Not good, Breaking the walls. Cool. 
We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. Is that all? Sure there's all nothing else in here that can help us out? Else? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Paul? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. These are the containers that I was talking about. Being able to use the electronics to unlock them. There we go. Ooh, and we also got the armor. Yes. Wee. Oh, we even got it. Oh, no, never mind. There we go. Okay, I think that is. I think that's good enough, so let's continue on. Okay, got those upgrades, and I pretty much I'm not gonna use them, so. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. How would I know that? There'll be one of those husks in the skies. Hmm. Possibly. I'm just getting here. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Tell me I need I to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told the Prothean Beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? But no! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing for the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Mm, let it go there, Williams. He's not worth it. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. You should definitely make amends there. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Now, let's talk about the attack. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. The Geth didn't fight you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I can really sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but hey, most... If you hadn't stuck off for that nap, ridiculous. you'd probably be dead or just like all the others. Actually the first. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. 
Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It... it was huge. It landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... and it was making this noise, this... this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Hmm. Charming. Ooh, they left us presents. Ah, uh, lovely. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it.
Doctor. Doctor Chakwas. I think he's waking up. Nice there, Shepard. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Yeah, it exploded. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself there, I had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Thanks. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I was dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Oh, Jenkins. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Alenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast. Take him over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? I had a vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? Don't know what information was stored. That's on. optional. <laughs> Lost Protean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. And he believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. Mm -hmm. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. I'm we glad could use some good news okay, after Captain Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. 
Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Thank you. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying. I don't mind, but this is apparently Shepard does. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses sense. alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased, but I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. That's sweet armor. That is expensive! <laughs> Hello, boys. How's it going? Hey, get that. Yoink. There we go. Commander, I was just about to bring us well, in. Yeah, after, after this, we're going to end the recorded session. So, before we do that, we're going to show you the Citadel. For you guys who uh, have not played it or know Mass Effect itself, you're in for a treat. There you go. I still love the graphics, I still love the graphics that uh, the developers put in the legendary things. They did such a nice ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. So Five sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying, you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the Beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. 
Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. You and me both there, Ash. You and me both. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that is where we are going to end this episode. Guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions for me to try out, please let me know in the comments below. And also, tell me what you think of the, think of the first episode of Mass Effect so far. I really want to know what your thoughts are about this. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue on next time. Um, hopefully soon, if I don't get distracted too easily. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, crush that like button until the world shakes. Thank you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya! Pretty pissed that I had to start this whole freaking session all over. <laughs>